Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever A Day in the Life of an Uber Eats Grinder. <laughs> Just kidding. There's plenty of videos like this out there, but I had this cheeky idea, you know? I figured, why work for Uber when I can make Uber work for me? Not actually, but I work Uber Eats basically every day. As of lately, that's the state of my life. I, there's a lot of things I'd rather be doing, but this is where we're at, and I need money to do the things I want to do. Uh, so hopefully this is just a stepping stone onto some much greater, more meaningful, more fulfilling content. But we're here today, and I want to give you guys a little inside look into my routine as an Uber Eats driver as of the last like month. It is currently 5.25 and uh, let me show you guys around. So let me start by going through my setup. This is everything I need, all my essentials before I get started. Of course I have my phone that I use for Uber Eats. You can see that it's looking for, looking for rides at the, as we speak, little gigs. This is my old phone, it's an iPhone 6S or 8S plus, it's a humongous, and it's absolutely cooked. But I use this for listening to music, listening to podcasts, stuff like that. So I have, it's pretty messy in here, but I have one cable to charge my phone, one cable for the aux cord, and these are just essential, man. It's one of the things I actually do like about this job, is you can, it's pretty casual, you can do things as you what am I saying it's pretty casual <laughs> and you can do things you can listen to things as you work the job it's like pretty kind of like autopilot work which I really like there's no boss hovering over you just don't do anything dumb don't spit in the food um, don't drop the drinks and you're pretty pretty good also, I also make sure to bring my water bottle and sometimes, most of the times, I drop by for cheap fast food. So I think I might actually go to Wendy's right now. Shout out Wendy's. I'm not sponsored, but I swear the Wendy's in my town is like the best one regionally. I actually am kind of believing that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Wendy's enthusiast. A Wendy's enjoyer, but only the one near me, because all the other ones that I've been to are not as good. Um, so, usually that's what I do. I go to my local Wendy's, I grab some food or, I don't know, a drink. They have $1 large soft drinks, so I'll grab something like that. And head eastward to Pasadena. I'm in Los Angeles, California, in a suburb. Um, and yeah, I had a Pasadena and work out there, so... We're going to do that now. I don't know if this is going on super long. I don't know if it's not long enough, but who knows? I guess that's not relevant. But there you go. Let's get going. So I'm going to try to do this all responsibly. I don't have a uh, phone holder, nor do I have a log stick holder. But I mean... I've got pretty good control of the wheel here, but I'll try to be a good influence and not uh, do anything too crazy. Also, if I haven't mentioned the car I'm driving, it is a Scion XB 2006. It's a nice little, like, almost like a box car, but it's more aerodynamic than a box car. <laughs> um, but it gets decent mileage, like 27 per gallon. Um, you get reimbursed 35 cents per mile. So basically that covers gas and it's like two and a half. It depends on your car, but if you're getting like 25 miles per gallon, let's say, 35 cents per mile would cover like there and back and a little bit more. But you're not always going somewhere and then going back. Like ideally you want to go somewhere and then like get something from there to keep keep the train moving 
but this job is really uh, really weird really unpredictable which maybe is like good for your, for your dopamine <laughs> desensitized brain <laughs> um, I think it, it can be kind of addicting getting those hits getting those really good rides or most of the time getting dog poop and I've realized a huge part of this job is like setting your own boundaries man like knowing your worth knowing your value knowing what to accept and what to just decline every time and most of the time like if it's an order with no tip or like basically if it's a no tip order like you never really want to take it unless it's like really easy and simple and you, you know there's not much going on and there's nothing better to do or if it's like a a ride that'll take you back home or take you to an area that you want to, to be in to work. Wow, I look so weird with the, the light shining on my face. Alright, let's get that Wendy's. Always use your Wendy's app, boys. I have a mobile order for Ivan. Go for it, please. Thank you. typically a lot of this job is like a waiting game if there's no orders coming in you kind of just have to wait around I tend to well I've experimented a lot with like my my techniques I've been trying to optimize and I've tried a lot of different things in terms of like which restaurants I go to how long I wait outside like this and that. Um, I guess an ideal thing would be to wait locally until I get an order that takes me out to where I want to work most of the night, which for me is out in Pasadena, Los Angeles, California. And just kind of hope something comes in. It probably won't. <laughs> it might not. So at some point, I'll give up on that and just go ahead and drive to Pasadena directly which isn't the worst but you know if you're getting an order that goes out there you're basically getting paid to go over there so that's ideal but um we'll see we'll see all right so speak of the devil this one kind of takes me over there it's not super good five bucks pretty trash actually <laughs> but it takes me closer to where I want to go so I'm gonna accept it and we're off, baby. I've doxxed myself. I'm in Monrovia, California. There you go. Let's go. Man, I feel like you could get really cinematic with these things, but it's hard to do it while also still doing the job functions. <laughs> so, we'll see how this all comes out. So sometimes the algorithm blesses you. Um, and basically some of the best orders you can get are like batch orders where you're doing like multiple pickups into multiple drop-offs. So the one I just picked up that I talked about was not very hot, but I got a additional one that's really short and pays even more. It was like eight bucks for like a probably five minute drive. So that's pretty decent. And on like days, like on Saturdays, Fridays, busiest days, like people tend to be more generous with tips, I think. Um, so it can get pretty good, but this is still baby bucks, all things considered. Um, I'm hoping I get some really big batch ones in Pasadena, where uh, people are a little more affluent, tend to tip more. Uh, but for now, we are about to arrive at Taco Bell. Let's go. Delivery came in around 5 30. 
So I'm at zero dollars at 5.30. I tend to go till late, like 12, even 2, 3 a.m. sometimes. Saturday is probably the best day, so it's possible I can go out till then, go on till then, but we'll see. Just to kind of make a little mental note of where we're, we're starting at and where we end up. So it's 6.16, it's been 45 minutes. Didn't get anything after those first two orders, which came out to about $12, which is, you know, for this job, kind of decent, actually. Um, in California and LA, that you get the uh, minimum, what do they call it? The earnings guarantee. So basically, you're basically getting minimum wage and a little bit more. Um, for every hour of active time that you work. So that's only the time that you're actively heading to a pickup or dropping off food. Which is the prop is the main problem is that a lot of this you're not uh, active. Like you're just waiting for orders and stuff. So there's a lot of downtime. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet now. I could try and head somewhere and wait to get something to take me eastward to Pasadena where I want to work most of the night, but it probably won't happen unless I get lucky. So I'm just going to go ahead and head there directly. It's about 15 minutes to drive, which isn't the end of the world. Um, and I want to get there ASAP because it's, I'll be there around 6.30, which is like prime dinner time. That's when things start picking up for real. So it's worth getting over there because um, it's a good area to be in. So head in there now. Patiently. Frosty. The snowman. Also, here's proof that I'm an Uber Eats grinder. I think I'm at a gold, or not gold, I'm diamond. Boom. Diamond tier. There's tears on this. Currently five years. I definitely haven't been active for most of that. But 281 trips. I've been active just really in this last month. <sighs> Not much coming in, which is a little strange. I might go walk to the front. But yeah, I mean, normally during these times, it's when I listen to music or just chill in my thoughts, think about life think about what I want to do after I'm not doing this anymore which I guess is part of why I'm doing this video to practice vlogging because I want to do some vlogs in China uh, but soon 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 I also don't know how coherent this video is, which I think is like a worry with all my videos. I'm always like super self-critical in my head. 
really negative, just like thinking like, is this even making sense? Is anyone gonna watch this? Like, what's my goal here? Which I guess is a mix of like entertainment and information, informative, but also like document or docu documentative, I guess. A documentary of one night as a new breeze driver. So far, not too hot, but let's go to the front. Let's see if we can get something. Seven o'clock. I got my first one. Um, I look really weird. I'm like a red demon. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Um, I got one for 13 bucks, and boom. Look at that. They want me to head back which I will gladly do to grab another one heading the same way for eight bucks. So I was just about to say, 13 is like pretty decent. It's not the best, um, but I mean, that's pretty good in this economy. <laughs> and I mean, what you really want is those batch orders where they stack a couple of them or even three sometimes. That's where the money's made, but you know, like, with this place, like these ones are going out like 20 to places like 20 minutes away. So, I mean, it's not amazing, but you know, if I'm going out making 13 bucks, 20 minutes out, then 20 minutes back, and then I get another one for like 13, it kind of adds up. And because of the earnings guarantee, basically, like anything you're making is going to be pretty low. Um, and once like every two weeks in the pay period, the earnings guarantee kicks in. You get basically more for your your base rate. Uh, you gotta keep all your tips, thankfully. Um, and so that makes it somewhat worth it um, to take orders like this. Um, but it can be so much worse, man. Like if you're just taking like bottom of the barrel, like $3 no tip orders from Taco Bell and Carl's Jr. Like, I mean, you're gonna be if you're if you're kept busy, you'll be making 20 bucks an hour because of the earnings guarantee. But otherwise, you'd be making doggy doo doo, my boy. Um, and so you know, you really want to go for those tips and those big orders. So, luckily, I got a couple good ones, and I'm heading back to pick up another the other one. So. I'll check in later, maybe every hour, two hours, I don't know. I don't know how this video is so far. <laughs> I think I already said that though, but we keep going. We move in perpetual motion, let's go. Also, every time I get a nice batch order, I like to thank the Uber algorithm and hope that they're listening and that they appreciate my gratitude and will give me more. So the system they have here is pretty cool. They give you updates via text when your food's ready and then you go inside and there's like 20 cages, or not cages, boxes uh, where they set the food and then you you have like a, a link to open it up and you just grab it and go. I'll try and film it. I was feeling pretty nervous too even to do this, but I, I just started hitting record and that usually helps. Um, but I'm going uh, I'm to try and show you guys what it's like in there too. Alright, so you get a text that says it's ready. And you come inside. Boom. I did it. I'm proud of myself <laughs> for that one. That wasn't as bad as, you, as I thought, you know? I think that's always the case with vlogging. It always feels super weird and like, ah, you just, I get in my head and shit. But then once like, I just hit record, you know, like, it's kind of like you have to build that sens sensitivity, desensitivity, build that confidence, build, just kind of get used to it. And eventually you keep going and going. But here we go. Moon bowls delivery, batch order, let's run it. Finish those, that little batch. I'm heading back straight to where I came from. 
from. It's the safest move. I mean, I could try and look for stuff locally and shit, but I don't know. I'm gonna lose 15 minutes going back and some gas, which is covered basically. What the frick is this car doing? It's crazy. Um. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna lose 15 minutes, but I'm basically guaranteed pickups there and really like you want to minimize There's two tactics really minimizing like driving time or minimizing uh, driving distance So like you could just take whatever go to the nearest spot like just try and always keep just accept everything keep the ball rolling um, But usually you have to take like pretty low quality rides uh, if you're doing that so this is what I've been doing lately, it's been working decently. Just going to the same spot, the same ghost kitchen. Picking something up, medium tip, medium distance, and then just heading right back and running it over and over again. Unless it takes me somewhere that I've been before and that I know that is like a good market to stick around in. In which case I'll like stay wherever it takes me. But it's a bit, there's a lot of variables. A lot of like optimizing and like trial and error and like opportunity cost and all the shit which is pretty fun pretty it keeps it pretty interesting all the time but it can get kind of boring when you're not making any money <laughs> that's when it sucks when you try to optimize and you have it hasn't worked at all and it feels like you wasted like an hour just sitting around waiting for orders trying something new at some point you know you gotta gotta have a ceiling gotta have a limit you know you gotta accept that your your system is good enough and the grass is not greener on the other side it's greenest where you water it so i'm gonna see how it pans out for me tonight with my little system but yeah we'll see right now or not right now we'll see you later much later on the topic of calculated risk for example, I just rolled through the main street here, Colorado Boulevard, uh, here in Pasadena, uh, for like five, seven minutes on the way to the place I'm heading to. And, you know, the idea, the hope is that as I'm rolling by some of the main streets, main restaurants, I get an order. But so far I haven't. I think I've passed most of them, so I probably won't. So, you know, it's like that, man. There's a lot of uncertainty. And, you know, a lot of times when I do it, I do get something. So it turns out to be worthwhile. But then when it nothing pops up, it's like, ah, I should have just gone directly to the place. And, you know, maybe that's the safe bet, the most comfortable bet. You don't need to think. Just A, B, A, B, A, B. A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E, A, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Just keep returning to the same point. I think it could work. But who knows, man. I've been trying a lot of things. It's the best system I have so far. But I'm sure there's so much variance and, like, variety in how people do it. And also just the earnings, man. Some people are making freaking dog scraps. I'll probably end up making, like, decent in terms of Uber Eats. But... <laughs> when you compare it to like any other job, a normal stable job, it's pretty dog ass. So it's just it's just a lot of trade offs, man. And um, you never really know what you're gonna get. And I guess it's just it's kind of like a pick my poison. Like I'd rather do this than other other jobs, and I can do this like all day, every day. It's not really super busy most of the day. I'll tend to do like 3 p.m. to like 3 a.m. Or, or till midnight and I can make like 100 to 200 bucks depending on the day um, but we'll see how today pans out I'll go through the earnings and everything at the end but Well, I 
drove back home and um, <laughs> honestly I, I, I might just be done for the night it's super disappointing man but I think I might have a grander meaning to it I am really happy I ran into an old friend shout out my boy Antonio <laughs> from high school man um, and uh, yeah I mean I'll go into the breakdown of the hours and how much I made I mean it's been four hours it's about to be 9 30 and I'll do a little screenshot or something of what it came out to money wise but not much man just just terrible but hey I mean I vlogged it I documented it it's real that's cool so I don't know I guess there's that uh, but yeah I mean I guess that's it more to come hopefully very different from this I'll have an exciting life I want to lead in the future but I need money to do it alright <laughs> that's it for me thanks for watching hope this was insightful or entertaining or something and yeah peace